everybody good afternoon so we got an issue with our trailer we got a pigtail which is what you plug your tractor into the trailer with looks like somebody uh, forgot to disconnect and it broke off so I got breakdown I'm gonna be sending somebody out I'll show you on the back here of the trailer what this is <clears throat> so that's it there and what happens they forgot to disconnect it and it just broke right off so now they're going to hold me up for a couple hours because they got to come out and put a whole new box on here actually they got the box just the outer piece here but I don't know the things are broken inside there so I don't think we fix that too, but in any case, it's all part of the truck. This is where the what plugs into that box that I showed in the beginning there. That's what plugs into this, and that whole thing's broken off. So, so now I'm gotta wait until they come out. So I think what I'm gonna do is I was gonna head on down to Cordell loves after this, but the problem is I don't think I have enough time to drive after they come out and fix this. So I'll be stuck here at Kellogg's, which that's Kellogg's over there. So stay tuned. I'll keep you informed what's going on. So it's about 2.30 right now on uh, Monday the 17th. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I appreciate uh, all you subscribing to my channel. And I'll be back and uh, let you guys know how I do. All right, so take care for now, folks. And uh, I'll keep you informed. All right, so we got the mobile guy here. He's uh, trying to fix the... Um, pigtail light or pigtail connector on the trailer so he's trying to get the pins out because it looks like a couple of the pins broke on the inside receptacle of the trailer so he's trying to get that out I don't know if he's going to be able to get the, pit, the last pin out so he might have to replace the whole box but he's trying just to replace the, the receptacle on the back there's two parts to it there's the box that connects the trailer and then there's also just a receptacle end because usually receptacle end sometimes they do break off so but he's working on it so just want to touch base and let you guys know what's going on so uh i'll touch base uh with you guys later when he's all fixed so i hope everybody has a good day and again if you like the videos please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell for future videos and um i'm gonna be putting some more out here because we're gonna be going to different locations with this dedicated route North Carolina, South Carolina, Achula, Brooksville, Florida. So we're going to different places more than just what I've been going to. So we'll be able to get some video of other places and stuff. And we're still going to Robert, Louisiana and Hattiesburg, uh, Mississippi. So just stay tuned for new places. All right, talk to y'all soon. Signal's working. I don't know the four ways on, but just for now, I'm just checking to make sure they all work out here. Yeah, they all work. And license plate works. All right. All right, so you did a good job. The only, the only thing is. Yeah. 
here, missing a rivet. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's supposed to be a rivet there. It is down there. Not very rivet, but a bolt. Hopefully that's okay. There's an ape. And the either the driver or person at Kellogg's put these put this on with the trailer around they they were still connected and that's why it all yanked out and broke. That looks all good. Alright, so we're done for the night. We're gonna stay here at Kellogg's up here in Union City and then I'll continue on tomorrow with the video once I leave here. So hope y'all have a good night and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. case it just came across I don't know if you guys heard there or not but uh, we're gonna stop here at this loves here in uh, Jasper Florida uh, take our break we've already driven for about four and a half hours or so so we'll take our break because we've got to take one within the first eight hours so it's got a lot of sun glare so I don't know how good this video is gonna come out but we're gonna get off here in about nine tenths of a mile so when we park we won't be facing the sun really so we'll get a little better video once I get off of here but in any case so hope everybody's having a good day so this is on uh, we're on I-75 south in Florida now so we're uh, gonna be getting off at uh, the Jasper Live Oak um, exit here, which is exit 451. This is a nice love to get off at because it's, uh, as you'll see, it's, it's, we'll spin around here to the right and then we get back on. We're basically just going to come right back on again and then still head south. I like this Loves too because there's a spot, a couple spots you can park here. You don't have to do a, you don't have to park in the truck parking. There's a lot of room that usually I can park next to the scale or on the side. As you'll see up here, if there's any room, can park uh, along the curb. Just do a 30 minute break so you don't have to actually pull into a spot, but we'll see. We'll see how it is. It's an Arby's. It's not my favorite, but I got bagels and stuff in the truck, but I don't feel like pulling the oven out and everything. And so we'll just go down here and order something. I guess he's going to try to pull out in front of me. I guess you are, huh? Nope. Wait for me. here for this loves so let's see if we got any parking here Working on 
on a scale. So I was looking to park here on the right or up here by the scale, but looks like there's trucks there, so might have to go find a parking spot. Spots here. I'll probably just swing around and put it in here. I got time to kill anyways today, so no big deal. And because it's early this morning, not to worry about picking a perfect spot here. trash I'm gonna throw out here too can't forget that you know, this curbs on an angle here so you gotta be careful because the right side would hit or the left side so a lot of trucks probably back over top of the, uh, the curb there on the right side Alright, so I'll be back. I'm just going to go grab some breakfast, use the restroom, and uh, I'll see you on the way out. Alright, so finished our break. So now get out of here we're gonna hit a way station right away and then we're gonna hit the Florida agricultural station so here's where I park sometimes right along next to the scale here that's where I normally park boy a lot of guys coming here for fuel Busy place this morning. I don't think I've ever seen a line come in here before. Turn at the first right onto US Highway 129 South. Lens off. Looks like a little, a little dirty there. Anyways, half a mile. Turn left onto I seventy five toward I seventy five south. So we'll cross over. 75 down here and then we'll uh, get on to 75 south. We're only about 
215 miles from Lakeland. And that's where I'll drop this uh, loaded trailer at our terminal. And I'll just park for the night. So it says I'll be just covered my time there. I should be there about 1245, somewhere around there. So I'll have the rest of the day off and then see if they got a load for tomorrow. That's another perk of uh, driving too, is that sometimes your days are short, sometimes they're really long, but bottom line is, just like today, I'm gonna have the afternoon off, and then tonight I'll be at home, and then uh, I'll leave some time tomorrow morning. Depending if they have a load or not. Now I'm hoping, it doesn't look good though, I'm hoping was hoping there'd be a lot of trucks in front of me to well here's what happens to me explain so the way station here usually I blow by I don't have to ever stop here but once in a blue moon I do but when it comes to the ag station the agricultural station which is about two and a half miles down after this way station um, I always get pulled into there unless um, there's a lot of trucks that back it up, back up to the, the highway. If there's too many in there, they'll bypass me and I, I can just keep going. So, I don't know why we gotta stop the agricultural stations. I mean, I mean, we can carry stuff maybe that they wanna look at, but most time it's for horses and stuff like that, and plants and stuff like that. But I'm not a refrigerated unit, so there's not too many times that we ever really carry plants in the back so it is a way station that they change now I don't get the beep on my free pass it'll just tell me here when I as I went over those meters there it'll tell me if I have to stop or not so let's see what the sign says here so the guy in front of me is bypassing bypassing too so it says truck bypass way station I don't know if you guys can see that but so it gives me a sign since I don't have to stop in the way but again I know unless it's backed up to the road I'm gonna get pulled into the agricultural station So again guys if you uh guys gals if you uh have any questions about the truck industry please uh you know put in the comments down below i do answer every comment uh sometimes i can answer it right away sometimes it might take 24 hours but i, I do answer all the comments so if you have any questions about getting started just in the business or getting started with night or if you're experienced and you want to come tonight um you know please feel free to ask me any questions about night in general uh, and I can answer those questions um, as soon as I can <clears throat> so that's why I like right now there's a guy that's gonna pass me and on the left and then that'll help me possibly with the um, at the agricultural station because he'll be another truck that could be taking up the room in the agricultural station so I can just keep rolling so we'll see but today's one of those days where it's 44 degrees outside but one minute I might have the AC on the next minute I got the heat on because the Sun beats on the truck and I'm just like in an oven here like the windows are all up and everything and there's no fresh air coming in all right so there's another truck coming up my left he can help me there's also another truck behind me that can do more than 65 and he definitely wants to come around I can tell so we'll see see if they help me out here and I guess the guy behind me is gonna stay behind me knowing it's coming up here
Let me know too in the comments too. Uh, I've probably put out now, I don't know, 80 videos maybe. I mean, I'm new at this, so I need some of your critiquing. So if you can tell me, you know, what you don't like about my videos, what you like about my videos, what you want to see more of, you know, please let me know. Because that's the only way I can get better at getting good quality videos out for you folks. You know, let me know if you like the hat cam better than the windshield cam. If you um, you want to see more night filming, anything, just let me know. Let me know in the comments. So here's the agricultural station. It's gonna either give me a red beep here to go in, or green. And I got the red, so I'm definitely going in. So so you definitely can see what this is all about. It's basically we're just gonna go in and. I just basically pull up to a window and sometimes they just wave me on. Other times they ask me what I'm carrying. Oh, I almost made it too because this is getting backed up. I almost made the bypass. And that's what I'm talking about, see? I would have probably been, if I was two more, if I had two more trucks in front of me, I probably would have been bypassed not to come in here, but, and this is a busy time of day, the trucks come through here, so. Starting to hear my belt starting to squeal a little bit. I hear it every so often when it gets wet outside, when there's a lot of moisture, but it's dry outside, so I'm not sure why I'm getting getting that squealing unless it's finally starting to go. I mean, it's the original belt on the truck with 230,000 miles, so it might be on its last legs. It's one thing I don't want to pop off when I'm driving because then I lose everything. Power steering. Well, actually, let me phrase that. I think the power steering has its own belt. I lose everything else. Lose my fan. Lose my AC. I'm going to pause this for a second because this is probably going to take me a couple of minutes to go up to the window. Well, it's taking a long time to get through this uh, egg station this time. They might be asking everybody what they're hauling. Usually they just kind of wave you on, but you see the trucks are starting to really back up there on the highway, onto the highway. So usually they just ask me what I'm hauling. I just tell them cereal. There's a way station over there, or I'm sorry, the egg station on the other side over there. A lot of times with us though is night, they just wave us on usually because we come through here a lot. We don't give the uh, DOT a hard time or anything and our trucks are newer, so we don't have issues with them. So they, they find we're not a, a threat out here on the road. Got cereal. Uh, he didn't seem too pleasant. In any case, sometimes they're really nice, sometimes they're little rough like that they just don't seem like they want to be at their job today he just kind of nodded his head just standing there but in any case so that was what we go through when we're down here in Florida uh, we go through the Ag station both north and south so that's it there so I'll catch back up a little bit with you folks back in Lakeland I'm gonna film as far as I can here I just looked at my GoPro battery said it's only down to 10% so I don't know if it's gonna make it all the way to our yard but 
Uh, I usually get off here at County Line Road, exit 25, but the uh, they're working on the railroad uh, outside of our work, our terminal. So I got to go to the parkway here. And time-wise on 10% battery power, I don't know if it's going to make it all the way. I wish it would, but I don't think it's going to. So, but we'll see. These uh, GoPro batteries don't last that long, so I'll film as long as I can. And then I don't know if I have a load for tomorrow yet or not. He's going to, he's checking on me. Ever since they had snow up there on Sunday night, it kind of crippled things.